Should the bow get a boost? What's up guys, this is Sancho West and welcome to another special episode of Last of Us here discussing the latest live update. You know the live update, if you haven't heard the live update, click the link down below to get catch up on everything here that's happening here on the Last of Us factions. And here's the most important question that after all that live update, after everything the dust settled, and a lot of you guys were saying this in the comments section, and I've seen it in forums across the subreddit, the Last of Us factions, on the official PlayStation forums, where's the love for the bow? The bow men and bow women out there have not gotten any kind of love for the Naughty Dog developers. Instead, what do we get? Zip. Nada. You get the point. The only one thing that we had that was making us very competitive in The Last of Us was corner shooting. Oh, yes. Corner shooting. You remember those days. I'm going to drop a molly for all my corner shooters out there because it's no longer happening. That's right. If you saw my tips and tricks videos on corner shooting, that's something that's a technique that's no longer viable because, not, because Naughty Dog has decided that corner shooting was a problem. It was a little bug, a little glitch, or an exploit, whatever you want to call it, that needed to be fixed, and it got fixed. No longer are the days where a bowman could just simply stick out his hands and get the down. It was considered to be an unfair advantage, considering all the other large firearms and all the sidearms do not have. And boom, gone. Corner shooting, gone. That's the biggest thing that they took in, uh, they've taken away from us bow people. And now what do we have? Do we get a boost of any kind in the live update? No. We can continuously go out there and represent our love for the bow, going up against other semi-autos and tactical shotguns and full autos and burst strigles all day and every night, and we still don't get love for the bow. Now, most of you guys out there are, are complaining, and I understand. I get a lot of crazy hate mail. I get a lot of crazy uh, complaints and rants against me for using the bow. It's considered a cheap weapon. It considers one of the hardest weapons to get it down with in regards to a headshot. And oh, it is so sweet to get a headshot with the bow. If you have not had that experience, please try to go get one here on The Last of Us because it is fantastic. But let's just break down the little schematics of the bow. The bow itself, as I said before, takes a one headshot to get the instant down, two shots on the body. It gets rid of armor in one shot. And why do I feel like it needs a boost? And where? Not necessarily in the upgrade costs. I think 400, 800 is just fine. Not necessarily in the cost of ammo, because a good bow person does not necessarily need ammo. And the ammo continuously randomly generates when you shoot it. it doesn't always break. No, no, no. That's not how you boost the bow. Here's what I would consider in boosting the bow. And it's a very simple logic. I would simply drop it down to two loadout points. That's right, just drop it down to two loadout points and make it even with the semi-auto. Give this bow people out there more perks. That extra one point would do a world of wonders. Maybe we start carrying Sharpshooter 2 a little bit more. Maybe we carry a purchasable weapon. Maybe we could afford the shotgun with a little bit of covert training too. Who knows, but the bow people out there need love. In fact, you might want to consider even giving more arrows at the beginning. That's all I think it needs. A drop in the loadout point cost and a drop in the and then a little extra arrow because we all know it takes two right now I see drops of three but a four arrow drop will be quite nice for the bow people and that's all that's all I need because I remember as well now that I'm remembering that they also made it a lot easier to hear what direction the arrows were coming from and to indicate where an, uh, a bow person was shooting from so there's a lots of things that have been going against the bow ever since launch they took away corner shooting. It wasn't supposed to be real, but we, we took advantage of it. We took advantage of that exploit. We became very dangerous bow people out there. You took that away from us. And now you're also you taking away the opportunity of being a stealth player by letting the people know where we were shooting from. And I'm not even talking about crazy things like letting us craft explosive arrows, fire arrows, poison arrows, freezing arrows, none of that crazy stuff. Just simple stuff. It's going to be fine, Naughty Dog. I always, you always say this, that we do not, we are afraid of the select bow people, the small percentage of bow people to dominate the Last of Us factions. But in fact, I rarely see a full team of bow people. I rarely see more than two to three people using the bow. And of, and of course, if it's only used in that way, it's usually a gimmick, a gimmick match or a gimmick lobby. I just want to be able to be play competitively as well. My favorite weapon in the game. When I was playing the PlayStation Experience Tournament, I loved the bow. I went to the bow, and it was my home, and it was a great weapon to have. By far, the bow needs to be highlighted in some way. 
In fact, I'm curious what you guys like to know or what you guys consider is a fair boost for the bow. Or just debate whether or not the bow is fine as is, just let me know. But consider this. Consider this, Naughty Dog. Maybe just maybe for just one week or two weeks, you drop the bow down to two points and see how it goes, and see if the uh, if the Last of Us community, the the remaining of us that are, pick it up and use it because it still requires a lot of skill, skill, a particular set of skills that I've worked on. So consider that, Naughty Dog. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this episode. And I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That would be that'd be pretty bad to get killed with that many arrows. That'd be god-awful. Hey, all right, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this episode. Click right here to see the previous episode, which is Friday Fan Loadout 59. If you want to see a random Sancho West episode, click right here. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Comment below. Let me know what you think as well about this editorial series that I'm going to try to start doing more and more. And I just had this question that I had to ask. Where's the love for the Bowman? All right, guys. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Woo! Yeah! Peace. Adios. Sancho! Yeah, I have still have no idea what I'm doing here. At this part, I'm just going to show you my Falcon Bunch! Lunch, lunch, show me your food! Falcon Lunch! Subscribe.